Hello friends, I have given interview in TCS on 4th September 2021. They have asked me questions from three different languages that is ASP.NET Core, Angular and SQL Server. I have mentioned all 12 technical questions leaving first one that is introduction. I have also given a brief answer of each question which I have given in descriptive form during my interview. First question is what is ASP.NET Core and what are its benefits? ASP.NET Core is an open source cross-platform and high-performance framework for developing internet-connected modern application. Its main benefits are cross-platform, open source, and it uses modern HTTP request response pipeline. And last one is dependency injection, which is mandatory in ASP.NET Core, which was not mandatory in older version of ASP.NET. Second question is what is middleware in ASP.NET Core? Middleware present in configure method in startup file. It examine each incoming and outgoing request and response. There can be multiple middleware in application. It may be Framework provided, downloaded from NuGet package manager or a custom middleware created by programmer itself. When request first time appear, it is middleware which either executes some code against it or return back request or pass it to the next middleware. Same happens for response but in reverse order. There are three types of middleware we can define with the help of map, run, use. These are the methods which we extensively used while defining our middlewares. What are the ways through which we can manage state in ASP.NET Core? As we know, HTTP is a stateless protocol, so nothing retained between a request and a response. So we have some approach to manage this. We have first one cookies, second one session, third one query string, fourth one hidden field, fifth one temp data, viewed bag or view data. So with the help of all these, we are able to manage the state in ASP.NET. What is MVC in ASP.NET Core? MVC is design pattern for implementing user interface layer of our application in which we divide our application in three section user interface business logic layer data access layer view represent user interface controller represent business logic layer and model represent data access layer actually when request come it comes to controller and it will take data from model and give it to the view we need to add a service in a startup class that is add mvc service and a middleware called app.useMVC. next question is what is purpose of launch setting.json file in asp.net core launch setting dot json file are present in properties folder under root the setting in these file are used when we run our application on local development machine but if we want to use these settings at our production or staging then we have to put these settings in app setting dot json file by default we get two profile with IS and and another with the project name all the configuration settings in ASP.NET core comes from different sources and one source is launch setting.json file which is used on local machine only 
सिक्स्थ क्वेश्चन इज वाट इज टाइप स्क्रिप्ट टाइप स्क्रिप्ट इज अ सुपर सेट ऑफ जावा स्क्रिप्ट क्रिएटेड बाय माइक्रोसॉफ्ट दैट एड्स ऑप्शनल टाइप्स क्लासेस एंड एसिंग अवेट एंड मैनी अदर फीचर्स एंड कंपाइल्स टू प्लेन जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंगुलर बिल्ट एंटायरली इन टाइप स्क्रिप्ट एंड यूज एज ए प्राइमरी लैंग्वेज we can install type script using angular cli command that is npm install hyphen g type script what are different types of compilation in angular angular offers two way to compile your code just in time and ahead of time just in time is a type of compilation that compiles your app in the browser at run time just in time compilation is the default when you run the ng build or ng serve ahead of time is a type of compilation that compiles your app at build time for aot compilation include the aot option with the ng build or ng serve command next question is what are the advantages with aot the main advantages with aot are faster rendering the browser downloads pre compiled version of the application so it can render the application immediately without compiling the app second one is smaller angular framework download size so it doesn't require download downloading the angular compiler hence it dramatically reduce the application payload third one is detect template error earlier since it detects and report the template bindings error during the build step itself what are decorators in angular decorators are a design pattern or a function that define how angular feature work they are used to make prior modification to a class service or filter angular supports four type of decorators they are class decorator property decorators method decorators and parameter decorators what are pipes in angular pipes are simple function designed to accept an input value process and return an output a transformed output means if i wants to accept some data and i wants to customize them i can do it with the help of pipes angular support several built in pipes however we can create a custom pipe also some key features of pipes are like pipes are defined using a pipe symbol pipe can be chained with other pipes and pipe can be provided with argument by using colon sign what are the differences between var let and const var declaration are globally scoped or function scoped while let and const are blocked scoped var variables can be updated and redeclared within its scope let variables can be updated but not be redeclared const variables can neither be updated nor be declared they are all hosted to the top of their scope the question is what are triggers in sql server triggers is a special type of store procedure that automatically runs when an event occurs in the database that is dml triggers run when a user execute dml events that is insert update and delete ddl trigger with ddl events like create alter and drop next question is what are index in sql server index is 
an disk structure associated with table or view to speed up retrieval of rows for this it save key in form of b tree structure there are two type of indexes first one is clustered index and second one is non clustered index clustered index physical order of data is in table since physical data can be stored in only one order so there can be only one clustered index per table and that is according to the primary key on the other hand there are non clustered index in this data is stored in one place and index is in another place so index have a pointer which point towards the data